All right, we're at gotomath.com, working some calculus, and uh, actually this is part two of the uh, introduction, and we're kind of, uh, I think I might have, we're kind of looking at this this particular function here, but anyway, this is part two. If you click on this button here, you'll uh, see this video here. And part one will be here, part two will be here. All right, so we're talking about inverse functions, and we're just kind of looking at it uh, we're looking at it geometrically so let's go back to the board where we uh, left off in part one and we were looking at it geometrically in other words we uh, let me get another color here um, we're, we're given this in the problem and we're actually asked to find uh, the uh, in the derivative of the inverse Okay, and so I went ahead and sketched out uh, this graph here. This is our actual function, and then I sketched out the uh, what the uh, inverse could would probably look like. And what we're actually asked to do is they give us an a, and then what we're going to be doing is is we're going to be taking that a and plugging it in. Um, we're going to be plugging that in to the derivative of the inverse and so I think they we write it like this okay and this is what we're asked to find the derivative of the inverse we're going to take that a plug it in all right and so what this actually is the derivative of the inverse is nothing more than we have a point on the line on a point here uh, on the curve here of the inverse and we're finding the slope of the tangent line okay so we can think of that geometrically as we're finding the slope of this tangent line at this point of the inverse but what we're actually going to do is we're going to find the slope of the line of the original function this guy here we're going to find the slope of this tangent line and then we're just going to take its reciprocal so if m is the slope of the line then 1 over m is considered to be uh, the uh, the reciprocal and that would be the uh, slope of this tangent line right here okay so they give us a and we're gonna plug it into the function now here's the key the key is, is we got it we need to find b right here okay we need to find b and so let me uh, write this out so if we were to do this if we were to say okay f inverse of a so f inverse of a is equal to b then f of b is equal to a f of b is equal to a right so that's uh, we're we're saying that this is the in, that this has an inverse and this is the inverse here okay so this is just the properties of what it means to be an inverse right there and so when we plug this is what we need to find we need to find b and this up here is actually is actually a see okay so that means that this guy right here if we were just to draw it back over here so we're saying that f of b is equal to 2b squared and all of this is equal to a remember a is equal to 2 b squared so the question is what is b and when we find b okay then we can take b and just literally plug it into the derivative here the derivative of f so we want to find this we plug it into the derivative of this guy right here and then one over that derivative right gives us uh, this guy right here so the question is what is b we're going to be given a and we want to find b well in these particular problems here we just want to plug a one in plug two in plug three in plug four in plug five in plug six in until it's equal to a that's the best way the best way to uh, to do this alright so that's what we're doing and click on the help button because there's a formula that we're going to actually uh, use but I, you need to see this geometrically and so you'll better understand you know what's going on it's that simple all right and so you can keep this picture in your head and you'll you'll know how to do it if you for, actually forget the formula all right good luck